Hello, I'm Lisa Peter coming to you from Hazelwood, USA. Today is June the 8th, 2014. It's Pentecost Sunday. My devotion today is going to be called The Attributes of Christian Living. You know, the other day I was talking to God about a situation and I felt like these five things are the most important in our life as, as a Christian. Forgiveness, repentance, mercy, grace, and hope. And I asked God, I said, what about faith? And he impressed on me that scripture. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And then also his love entwined through all of those. His love. And also today, um, as I was, I took that, that in itself is a sermon right there. I mean, you could just go with that. But I kind of broke it down a little bit more. Uh, the story of forgiveness is expressed through the prodigal son. In Luke chapter 15, verses 11 through 32, it talks about the son that wanted his inheritance right then. He wanted everything that the father would leave him. And so the father gave it to him. And the son, you know the story, but I'm just kind of, in case if you don't, I'll break it down. The um, son went and spent, and I, he just lived high on the hog, so to speak, which is ironic because he ended up in the hog pen at the end. But, yeah, he just went, and he just was ravenous. He just went and spent his money, he just partied, riot. He was the life of the party. Friends just flocked around him, and they wanted their piece of the pie, so to speak, and he gave and gave to them, and just, oh, he was just all it until it was all gone. It was all spent and he got a job working with the swine out in the in the pig lot, feeding the swine. And he was down there when he when it came to his senses one day, he's like, what, my father has all this wonderful stuff. He has this great farm, he's got mansions, he's got all this just great living. And I'm down here, I'm homeless, I'm down here in the the mire and the, and the stench and all this, he says, I will rise and I will go to my father's house. And he got up and probably cleaned himself off the best he could and went walking back to his father's house. His father never came looking for him, though I'm sure his father was missing him, but his father was watching for him at the end of the road. And one day he looked and he was looking and he says, I see somebody walking this way and we got a little bit closer. He said, that's my son. He called for the servants. He said, he says, kill the fatted calf. Make, make way. My son who is lost is now found. He who was dead is now alive. He's coming home. Make ready. Make haste. And you know when the son come in, his father just forgave him. That is true forgiveness. And he restored it to him what he was before. He didn't, he didn't say, even the son said, well, just make me one of your servants, you know, because being one of your servants is better than that. But no, the father forgave. And that's how we're supposed to do. We're supposed to forgive others. And then, um, of course, in Ephesians 4 and 32 also talks about, um, I don't have it right here. I should have written it out. But um, Ephesians 4 and, what did I say, 32? Yeah. It says, and ye, and be ye kind one to another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you. That's forgiveness. Repentance? Where do we find out about repentance? Repentance, of course, is all through the Bible, but today I was impressed to try to go with the Lord's Prayer. And that's in two places, and uh, Matthew 6 is one of them. Matthew 6. Let's go to that one. I think most of us can quote. I can quote one of them. I don't know if it's the Matthew 6 one or the Luke 11. Um, one that I have in my heart the most. I'll know in a minute when I start reading this one. Matthew 6, 9 through 13. It says, After this manner therefore pray ye, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. That's also about repentance. But repentance and um, forgiveness go hand in hand. Forgiveness is when we can forgive others. And repentance is when we ask others to, re to forgive us. And repentance means to turn from. To turn from. So if you're sinning, don't just say, I'm sorry for my sin and go back and do it. You change. You repent. And um, also Acts chapter 2, verse 38, the plan of salvation here on Pentecost Sunday. This is going to be um, quoted a lot today. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. That means turn from what you're doing, tell God you're sorry. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. That those sins get washed away, just like the prodigal son's father. He just forgave his son. Remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That's in repentance. Grace and mercy. What I chose for that was the Beatitudes. Matthew chapter 5, verses 3 through 12. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. He show grace and mercy to people. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. That goes with Acts 2.38 too. You're going to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. See, if you have mercy to others, you're going to get mercy back to you. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. And it goes on to say, Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt hath lost its savor, where shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and trodden under foot of men. We don't want to be cast out. We want to have mercy. That's what that is. Grace and mercy be still out to others. And that also, when Ephesians 4.32, be kind one to another, also goes right hand in hand with that. And um, hope, in Acts chapter 2 and verse 39, it says, This promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. That is our blessed hope. That's our hope. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Where does Christ come in you at? When you receive him, when you receive him, the Spirit, the Holy Ghost, that's the evidence that he is living in you. And that's found in Colossians 1.27. And um, as I was saying before about hope, I said, Lord, where is this hope? I mean, where's faith? I asked, I asked oh, what about faith? And I said, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And, you know, the hall of faith in Hebrews chapter 11, what we consider our hall of faith. We've got Abraham. We've got different ones. I, I, it's too long for me to list here and keep on going with what I have to say. But anyway, read that. Hebrews chapter 11. And love, I said, love is entwined through all of these. In the love chapter is 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 through 8. I jump every time that um, computer beeps at me that I've got a message or something. Um, 1 Corinthians. Maybe that's how our hearts should be when we get a message from the Lord. It should jump. Give it a little start like that. And let's go see what God has to say. 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8. Charity suffereth long and is kind. Remember, charity and love is the same word. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself, is not puffed up. Doth not behave itself unseemly. Seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked. Thinketh no evil. See, I see grace and mercy all through this, and I see forgiveness through all of this. Rejoiceth not in iniquity, see, repentance, but rejoiceth in the truth, beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. There's our hope. 
Charity never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then they which, then that which is in part shall be done away. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child, I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass darkly, but, we, but then face to face. And there's now by the faith, hope, and charity, these three, but the greatest of these is charity. It's love. I skipped a little bit there at the end because um, I hadn't read it all um, beforehand. I wasn't sure what it all said. But I'm just read that. The First Corinthians 13. When it says tongues shall cease, it's talking about you know, one of these days, we're not all going to have all these different languages. When we're in heaven, we're going to speak one language again. And if it is talking about the gifts of the Holy Ghost, it's not right now because uh, Joel chapter 2 says, in the last days, he's going to pour out of his spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters are going to prophesy. And he's going to pour out his spirit upon his servants and upon his handmaidens. That's in Acts chapter 2. And it's also in Joel chapter 2. So, this right here today, I want you to have forgiveness repentance, mercy, grace, and hope, and love. And a song we're going to sing today, I was just looking on YouTube to find a song about forgiveness, and there actually is a song called Forgiveness by Matthew West. Repentance, the song Search Me, Lord, Turn the Light from Heaven on My Soul, that's Donnie McClurkland. Mercy, Mercy Said No, C.C. Winans, and also there's one about I Extend Mercy on IBC. Um, Marvelous Grace by the Martins is about grace. Uh, and your grace and mercy, that ties those two together. Your grace and mercy brought me through. I'm living this moment because of you. I don't want to go over time. Um, i got to keep it under 15 minutes. Hope. A place called Hope, Michael English. Blessed Assurance. That's also talking about hope. We have that blessed assurance. Calvin Hunt's my favorite singer of that song. Love. Through it all. Your sweet love sees me through it all, Timothy Spell. And then I'm going to sing, Oh, How I Love Jesus. That's page 273. Yes, Jesus Loves Me, page 401. And also back up there, when I said Bless Assurance, that's page 119. These are all into the Sing Unto the Lord songbook. And I pray that God blesses each one of you. I love you all. You forgive me if I've done anything wrong. And if I extend mercy to you, you extend mercy to me. God's grace, there's nothing like it, and I, we have that blessed hope, blessed assurance. I love you.